Simon Ellie. I'm an educator, an author for Photo Focus, and I'm a working portrait and sports photographer based out of the East Coast of Florida. Now, I was had the, the privilege of coming down here to DC area to record a special class for LinkedIn Learning and for Linda.com. Now, I'm in somebody else's studio, so I don't have all my lights set like I do in my own studio. So when we came in for the set, we were able to hang a light up on the rafters. Now, what I'm really excited about is we have our AP here, Hillary. She's gonna fill in while we were doing this. Um, it's really cool because I needed to backlight the subject. So instead of sticking a light stand behind her and then having to use Photoshop or something to edit that out, we're able to hang the platypod up on top one of the rafters. Then from there, we hung a very heavy studio strobe. Attached to that strobe, we have a big soft box. These platter pods are extremely durable and it's supporting probably about maybe eight to 10 pounds. So let's see what a backlight is gonna do for our scene. We'll take a couple quick shots and then I have a little special surprise for you. And that backlight is giving me the accent that I need to light her from behind. So this is a traditional hair light. Now, here's that little extra surprise. Let's get our cameraman, Body by Jake. He's gonna come up. Now you guys have different types of things going on in the studio all the time. Yeah. You had a rock band come in. Yeah. They used a fog machine. What happened? Uh, set off a smoke detector. Set off smoke detector. So we're going to do the same thing, except we're not going to set off the smoke detectors. So let's add a little fog to the scene here. Again, for one of the most sweetest girls here in the company, she <laughs> looks like a bad assassin. Mm -hmm. Now, using that special light in the background, attached to that platypod is what gave me this look. And again, I really couldn't do it with a light stand because a light stand is gonna be right in her shot. And I did try it with a C stand like this with an extension arm. I just wasn't getting it. I needed more height. That's where that platypod comes in. We just wrap it up on top put a little cable up on top just in case the light disconnects from the platypod. Instead of it falling on someone's head, mm -hmm. it's gonna protect them. Well, I'm Vanelli with Photo Focus. Thanks for watching. <laughs>